As a young child, I got a lot of praise for what I did by my teachers, my mom, friends and whatnot. When you're really young, you love something and everyone says you're really great. That's a kind of push, you know? I never really gave it up. I'm Kenny Scharf, been making art my whole life. Make paintings, sculptures, customize objects, murals, anything. I'm the go-to guy. Bring it to me. I decided second year in college that I was gonna leave California and move to New York because I felt New York was a more serious place to pursue the artist's life. That's when my family got worried. Like, oh, well up until now it was a great hobby and you're great at it, but you gotta think of something what to do, for real. It wasn't really considered a thing to do as a living. I feel like a lot of the main subject matter when it comes to art is about the value of the art and how much money someone made for selling it. And that to me is really sad. When I got started wanting to be an artist, be in the art world, the business, I wanted people to talk, I wanted to talk about art, I wanted to talk about why is it that something is great or not. I don't want to talk about how much it's sold for. I don't think about money. That's not my main objective. I've been doing these thrift store paintings on and off for a good 20 years. My mom moved, her new place was smaller, she has this painting, I don't want this anymore, do you want it? I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll take it. And then I painted this dragon on it, and then I was like, ah, this is really fun. So a couple of days ago, I took you guys to Bet Shuva. I'm Jewish, I should be pronouncing that much better. It's like a thrift store, you know, money goes to causes. The reason I like that place, they have a lot of paintings. There's nothing really to say that I'm looking for. Sometimes people give me a painting, and at first glance, I'll be like, I don't really like this painting. I'm not really interested in painting on this one. But then it just, it grows on me, and the more I look at it, like, oh yeah, I know what to do with this painting. So even those paintings, I find love for. So certain ones just call out to you. Certain ones, I like them for their schlock value. Certain paintings, I like them for their frame. It all depends, but almost any painting could be a victim. I got to do my collaboration with The Hundreds. When they approached me and they said, oh, this company of The Hundreds wants to do something with me, I was like, oh, okay. I never even heard of them. It's not because they don't deserve that I should know them. It's that I, I don't really know that much of what's going on. But as soon as I looked into it and I went to the warehouse, I was like, oh my God. And then I went, let's say I went down to Miami for the Art Basel, and I was like, oh my God, every 20-year-old guy is wearing these clothes. So I was like, wow, this is really major. I mean, they really are connected with their audience. So I thought that was cool. That kind of, well, I often describe it as sort of the magic that happens when you take a few simple lines.